hanging out with Jimmy Zacharias. He has one of his cars in the show here, and of course, since he is a Zacharias, it's a combination of one and seven, as is the case with Eddie. Before we talk to him, I'm going to show you the car real quick, because I love these asphalt modifieds. I would love a chance to sit in one, but Jimmy's not as big as me, so I will not get a chance to get actually on the racetrack. This was a request uh, that I got on Facebook. How we doing, man? Good, how are you? Good. How's this car? Is it show ready or race ready? Let's start there. Uh, it's both. Uh, we picked this car up uh, <laughs> in the beginning of last year, and we added our own touches to it with the family colors, the, the, yep. the predicament gold leaf number that uh, we've always had for years and I brought it back from this car and I raced this car this is the same way it came off the track the last time I raced it I won six races out of seven at Shemong Speed wow. with it so my uh, my old man shined her up and we uh, stuck her here for uh, Jody for his uh, big race coming up September 2nd at Oswego Speedway. Gotcha. Got one race for these at Oswego or two? Uh, I think Jody's got Two, maybe? Two. That's what I thought. September I could have sworn. It's a big one there. Yep. They How about you back. guys? Do you have two also? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what my schedule allows because right now I run I run dirt full time. Yeah, what do you do on dirt? I run the dirt modified at Thunder Mountain Speed uh, okay. up there. Um, I made the transition full time to dirt uh, three years ago. So okay. I've been sticking to that and I dabble a little bit. So what is this going to be, six to ten starts, maybe, something like uh, that? I don't know yet. Um, I'm working on a deal right now. A guy I drove for from Buffalo last year. The last couple of years I drove for here and there. He wants to do some more asphalt racing. So okay. we're, uh, we're weighing our options and waiting to see what's going to happen there. Okay, all right. What's your background? What would you start in? Uh, I started uh, when I was five years old. I ran white rods for a year. Mm -hmm. Is that then, pretty much what every all of you guys did, really? Yeah, I think pretty much the whole family pretty much started in go-karts. and I didn't race them as long as like Garrett and Seth and Dylan. They ran them for many years. Mm -hmm. uh, I got out of it after a year and then moved into a full-size uh, four-cylinder at 11. And okay. Then I moved into the asphalt modifieds at 13. How much fun are these things? Because I've never been in one. I've only seen a handful of races, but every time I like them, every time I see them, I like what I see. There's there's nothing like them, really. Yeah, um, the extra low yeah, and everything. It's, it's and a great feeling. Total open wheel. Yeah, but once I once I made the transition to dirt, I started, I don't know if it's just because I ran asphalt for so many years that dirt was something new, mm -hmm. but I've really taken a liking to that. And Good. That kind of takes my priority over the asphalt right now, so that's where we're sticking with, but mm -hmm. that might change a little bit this year. Um, we're not sure. First race will be? Uh, it was supposed to be last weekend at Hagerstown. I went oh, you were going to do that yeah, one. I went okay. to Florida with the day -O deal. Mm -hmm. Oh, so we've already been out. Yeah, I was going to go to Hagerstown, but then my work schedule got busy because I also... Well, at least this. it worked out that they canceled it anyway. Yeah, it so. did because I didn't get ready for nothing. But I own mm -hmm. a sign business and I let her race cars. So oh, cool. that keeps me and my old What's lady... What's the name of the business? Uh, 71 Signs and Designs. All right, you on Facebook with that too? Oh, yeah. All right, so yeah. look them up, guys. Again, this is a third generation racer here. So I'm sure he knows how to make your car look good. I'm sliding off this thing here. Yeah, so. <laughs> my, dad, my dad used some extra chrome polish on her to shine her up. So I know, and I'm sliding back a half an inch a minute here at yeah. this point. So... Yeah. Uh, you keep in touch. Please let yeah, me know when you absolutely. get your first win, and we'll, we'll do a phone interview and get you right on, okay? Sounds good. Thank you. Jimmy Zacharias, beautiful number 71, here at the Syracuse Motorsports Expo.